I don't think I ever really dealt with the loss of my first daughter properly um, and as a result it has affected my own uh, mental health at a later date. It's a feeling many men who have lost a child can relate to. Dean and Ryan have both experienced it. Together, the two friends run the Lily Mae Foundation to unite other dads who are struggling too. The way I always explain it is like dropping a pebble in a lake and you have the ripple effect. It affects so many people. We've got to keep strong because we've got to keep our, our eye on our partners and help them get going. We don't deal with our own issues. Do you think there is enough support out there for men as much as there is for women? There is support out there, but I think men are reluctant to, to look for it and to actually go for it. That's why these 10 dads who have been helped by the charity are taking part in 10 gruelling fitness challenges, including skydiving and zip wire walking, to show men it's OK to be afraid, a feeling they have all shared along with grief. You know, one moment we could be talking about the football from last night and then the next moment you've got a chap in the corner who's upset and he's being consoled by the rest of the group. But just be able to sort of get together and sometimes have fun, sometimes cry. The challenges are as much about mental as they are physical health. I think their progress has been fantastic. I think a lot of them have opened up a bit more. They're, they're a lot more friendly with each other, which is the nature of what they're going to do over the next few months. Um, they're going to have to bond together and work together. Limbering up for their run, they might look competitive, but it's not important to them who wins this race. They've all endured tougher journeys. This one, they'll be crossing the finishing line together. Helen Keenan, 5 News.